Hey yo, what's up guys? It's your boy TCC Tyler Creates Content here and welcome back to another TCC Monday. And this week, as I always say, let's just get right to it. I am doing Q&A 3. So you guys have asked me some questions and I'm just gonna answer them. So let's go ahead and start from Instagram from my earliest question. Chloe asks, has anything good come out of COVID? Uh, well, to be honest with you, I think this is the best thing that's come out of COVID. Well, this in my EP. So my EP was born before COVID. My EP was kind of conceptualized back in uh, back in January, and then just kind of kept growing. And then once COVID started, it kind of detracted a little bit. But now I know how to like record so well, and even with a mic like this, I know how to record like songs decently well. So I feel like that's helped me a lot in the long run. And then after that, that kind of inspired me to go back into YouTube and start making YouTube videos again. So if it weren't for COVID, I don't know that I'd be able to post as much as I have been and get as good as like a routine and a schedule as I, as I have been and probably wouldn't have been growing this much. So yeah, thanks COVID for, for giving me YouTube. <laughs> All right, next question. Maddie asks, do you regret not letting Taylor and I do a segment? And well, okay. So two weeks ago, I did a video called I tried my subscribers video ideas where basically I asked y'all for some video ideas and you delivered and I tried them out and that, that was a really fun video but there was one that I left out and I, I had like an intro ready and everything for it but so Maddie I didn't I was gonna let y'all do it but you didn't give me a video back in time and I know it was kind of a short notice thing but I, fi I usually film my videos on the Saturday before and like I'm filming this on a Saturday. So yeah, it, it's not that I didn't allow you to, it's just you didn't give me anything back. So if, if you wanna do another segment sometime, hit me up, I'll try and fit you in. I don't know where, but I'll try. Next question, uh, Marissa asks, do you pog through the pain? Um, yeah, how'd, how'd, how'd you know? It takes me a lot to not just, why'd people sad? Yeah, guys, I've, I've I've been getting into watching Twitch streamers re recently. Um, but yeah, I do pog through the pain. Pog, capital pog, oh, and kek W. Next question. Uh, Carson asks, where would you chill during an apocalypse? Well, honestly, I feel like we're already in the apocalypse, to be honest with you. Like, think about it, or at least me, think about it. All these college students are just pretty much dead anyways. So I'm pretty much just surrounded by zombies. So this is the apocalypse. Welcome. Uh, in, all, in all honesty, um, I feel like we've all imagined a zombie apocalypse. I don't know about you, but I've imagined like where I would go. I feel like honestly, the Allen drum room is such a good place to like just hide out. And I feel like that that has like enough weapons too. If it was like a zombie apocalypse, you, you could just like, just a bunch of zombies and I don't know I feel like that'd be like it I feel like that'd be just like a good place to be so yeah it, it'd be there next question uh Haley asks what's one bad habit your roommate had that you wish they didn't and honestly when I first saw this question I wasn't going to answer this question because I feel like that's kind of like calling them out a little bit but I mean just when you room with someone you, you start to learn about like things that you wish you wouldn't learn. And I mean, that, that just goes with everyone. And I feel like with just doing a luck of the draw roommate, like I did, you're, you're bound to come up with some things that you're just not gonna like. And for, for one, for me personally, my least favorite thing, and sorry, Roger, if you're watching us, but my least favorite thing is how he, he always wakes up at like three or 4 p.m. And I wake up at eight, nine, 10 o'clock while this doesn't affect me too much. I always just have to be quiet so I don't wake him up. And I don't know, I like to film videos in midday because I film right next to a window. The window gives me good lighting and it's just much harder to film at night. Like last week's video, um, the Omegle video, which I'm gonna do a second one of because that was so much fun. But the Omegle video, I didn't think turned out as well just because of how low the lighting was. And there's a couple other problems. Like my mic was in the way and it just uh, went out of focus. But yeah, anyways, I, I just wish, I, I wish we had the same sleeping schedule because he goes to sleep at four and wakes up at four. So like 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I go to bed at midnight, one o'clock and I wake up at around eight, nine. It's not terrible. Like I, I get through it. And sometimes I just end up talking anyways, just because I have to. But yeah, that's, that's just one thing that I I rather would have changed. Next question. So <laughs> Caitlin asked me three separate questions and Maddie did too, but some of hers just sound like 
just not like personal problems, to be honest. So, Kaylin, Kaylin asked me, actually asked me three separate legitimate questions. The first one being, what's up? Uh, well, we're just filming a video, to be honest. What about you? Comment down below how you're doing, or what, what, are you, what are you doing right now. Besides watching my video, because that'd be a sly thing to put. Uh, her second question was, how's UNT? <laughs> and, uh, UNT is pretty awesome, honestly. I've gotten used to it since last q &A. And I've made some friends, as you saw in my, uh, subscri in my subscriber video. And it, it's, just been, it's just been fun. I've just been hanging out, eating food, just doing what I want. And I, I feel like that's been, it's been pretty good. So uh, thanks for asking on that one. And... Your last question was, are you bored at college? And not really. I feel like, so I'm taking 13 hours of classes right now. And uh, for those of you who aren't in college or just don't really get how it works. Um, and I say that as like, if you didn't go to college or whatever. Um, for those of you who just don't know how that works, uh, each class is typically around three hours or so. I'm taking four three hour classes and one one hour class, which is BAM. And honestly, I feel like it's enough that I have time to do my other things and I have time to um, work on class. So honestly, that's been non-problematic. I've I've been sailing through, but it's helped me be able to do stuff like this for you guys. So yeah, I'm not that bored. Life's been pretty good right now. So yeah, th thanks for all the questions. And so now we're gonna move on to uh, the YOLO questions. And as I was explaining last video, these are anonymous questions, so I, I can't give credit to whoever asked the question basically. So yeah, the first question is, which one of your professors do you hate most? And honestly, I don't think there's one that I don't particularly like. At first I felt like there were some that were just gonna be eh. But honestly, all of them have been pretty okay. Cause I mean, I'm taking online classes pretty much. So there's not really room to get mad at anybody. But one that I feel like has been boring per se, or just my least favorite class, I'll just put it as my least favorite class. Cause I feel like that's much easier. But my least favorite class probably be my astronomy class. So for my major, I have to take a science course. And so I was like, ooh, astronomy. That sounds really fun and easy. It hasn't been. It, there's like math involved. It's just a lot of theory conceptual stuff. And I thought it was gonna be stargazing. <laughs> it ain't stargazing. Ugh, I wish it was. But yeah, it's otherwise, it, it's been all right. But um, th yeah, that's probably my least favorite class just cause it's boring. And I'd rather not spend too much time on it cause they just, it's a lot of coursework and busy work that they just forwarded through a textbook service. So yeah, it, honestly, it's just, it's just more of a personal problem with it. But next question, <laughs> why do you always use the same track in video pre in the video previews you post on Insta and Snap? I'm sorry. It's just like, honestly, I don't know. I just put it in one and I just use the same kind of template for every video. So <laughs> for this one, I'll use a different one just for you. But um, yeah, I just use the same template and I, ju I just put it to the drop of the song and it, it's, it's just worked out for me but I'll change it just for this one. Uh, next question is Virgin. I think you're talking about airlines and no, I have not been Virgin Airlines. Uh, it sounds like a cool airline, but I just never been on it. I'm more of an American Airlines flyer. So yeah, next question. Uh, I think someone's asked you this already, but how long does it take for you to make a video? Well, like I was saying, um, I start my videos on a Saturday and I just film whatever concept I have. Like this week I'm doing a Q and A. Honestly, a video takes me about 30 minutes to film given it's not just a real life video, like uh, my subscriber video ideas video. Once I'm done with that, I stop the screen recording if I need to do a screen recording or whatever. And I usually put it down till the next day, Sunday. And um, I start editing mm, around, 10 p.m. I, I know that's kind of late, but Sundays are kind of a busy day for me. I usually do something with my family. I watch church in the mornings and then I'll have a band practice from six to uh, 7.30, but I have to get there at 5.30. So I really leave it around five. So yeah, um, yeah. So from, I usually edit from, I either start at 10 or on rare cases if I'm just lollygagging or whatever. I'll start it around uh, midnight or whatever, but usually that takes me about two, two and a half hours at most to finish editing. And once I'm done with that, I, uh, I go to bed and then Monday mornings, I'm just kind of giving you my video process at this point, my current video process, but Monday mornings or the morning of, depending on if it's a reaction Friday, um, the morning of, I'll make the, uh, I'll make the video thumbnail using a Photoshop on my iPad. I'll do, if I have some last minute edits that I just kind of put off because I was too tired or whatever, um, I'll do that as well. 
and then I'll uh, upload it and get the description, the tags, all that good stuff ready. And after it's uploaded, after I have the um, thumbnail uploaded, uploaded as well, I'll go ahead and uh, make the uh, video preview like I was talking in the last one. And for that one, I usually just take a couple clips and that takes me no more than 10, 15 minutes. And uh, I'll post that. Um, I've started to post that right when I dropped the video because I, I've noticed that more people like to click on it when I post that right at the drop of the video. That's kind of that's kind of my video process in total. I guess it takes me I guess it takes me in total uh, six working hours. <laughs> so yeah, a little less than a typical uh, full time worker shift. But yeah, so that, that's how long it normally takes me to make a video. And obviously that can just change depending on what the video is like if it's a one hour like my one hour challenge that took me a little longer to edit and just put together in general because I had to I had to do a bunch of filming for that and uh yeah so that's how long that's how long it takes me to make a video uh next question thanks for the awesome question by the way uh I miss you senor when can I see you again see I don't know who you are so if you want to go ahead and just comment down below who you are or um you can just I guess just DM me because I guess I know who you are, but um, uh, I don't know. Depending, it, just, it depends on who you are, really. And I, I'm not saying that isn't like I'll, I want to see less people less, you know. It just like depends if you're if you're one of my Allen friends. It's gonna take me a little longer to see you just because uh, you know I, I live in Denton now. So so it'll either be a while or if you live in Denton, if you're one of my Denton friends, text me and I'll. Uh, next question and final question actually is why are you so sexy? Oh really? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. God, God blesses me with nice things, you know. Thanks God. Thanks for making me so good looking. You know, ladies, uh, I am single. Just, just saying. Do you know I'm trying to look at you ugly? Did I ask? Like, like look at me. Woo. Whatever, I'll just go talk to my other 15 guys that I have just waiting on for me. Yeah, so like your dad, your grandpa, uh, your, bro uh, your brothers, uh, and Jamal. <laughs> no, nothing wrong with Jamal. But... Whatever, nobody wants to be with you anyway. <laughs> I know. I'm joking. Everyone want to be with me. <laughs> what is this video? <laughs> This is such a horrible video. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you enjoyed these Q&As, go ahead and drop a like and a subscription because I'll obviously be doing more of these in the future because I really enjoy doing them. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this has been a TCC Monday. Uh, I'm Tyler, and I hope you guys have a great week. See you re on Reaction Friday. <sighs> If I turn back the hands of time Maybe everything will be alright And maybe it'll tell me that I'm just a clown for thinking you're alright If I turn back the hands of time Maybe I'll do it different this time Or would I go back to the same old thing and the same